Ciao, friends. <laughs> we are back again today, and we want to share with you uh, restaurants that we like in DC that have a Michelin star. Um, and uh, we're gonna start with uh, Cranes, which is this uh, Spanish Kaiseki restaurant, um, which is a Spanish uh, restaurant with a Japanese um, influence. We have um, a lot of other very nice restaurants to share, and so we hope uh, you stay with us and um, you enjoy our recommendations. Do you wanna put that dish in your mouth? Greens is an elegant and warm Michelin star restaurant that offers a la carte or omakase experiences. We have been there a few times for a meal at the bar, but we highly recommend doing the omakase experience. The food is Spanish with Japanese influences and it includes anything from fish to seasonal veggies to meats and everything in between. Each dish was prepared to perfection and packed unique flavor and textures. If you opt for drink pairing, the sommelier will guide you through the curated pairing with wines and sake. The is really well known for their kimoka matsu sake, which is a very traditional, very labor intensive way of making sake. We have some toast, chicken pate and foie gras, a little kombucha wine jelly, finish it off with that little city. So chef recommends you know, starting with the toast and doing with the toast. The next Michelin star restaurant we're gonna show you is Rose's Luxury. It's located on the beautiful 8th Street Southeast uh, in uh, Washington DC in the neighborhood of Capitol Hill. And the restaurant is actually in a converted town home so it's very cozy and the cuisine is new American. We came here once and we really liked it so we can't wait to try it again. Located in a former town home, Rose's Luxury is a cozy, fun Michelin star restaurant that never lost its laid-back vibe. Named after Chef Aaron's paternal grandmother, who was a true Renaissance woman who was a baker, host, poetry writer, piano player, who enjoyed life and having fun, the restaurant strives to embody the spirit of its namesake. The knowledgeable and friendly staff goes above and beyond to make you happy. And the food is always delicious, new, with some amazing classics like the lychee salad that we never can get enough of. Expect traditional comfort food elevated to the next level through international twists and original presentation. From the amazing salads and pasta to the grilled fish, everything you will try is sure to make you happy. It's good, right? So the last dish of the night is cashew pepe pasta. That's like a gift you can take home and you can cook. And of course Andrea is from Rome and cashew pepe is from Rome and uh, how does it make you feel, boo? I'm gonna cook it tonight. <laughs> so you're happy. Albi is a one Michelin star restaurant in the trendy Navy Yard area. It was also voted best new restaurant in America in 2020. The restaurant is chic with an open wood fire kitchen and can be good for dates, entertaining or for friends night out. The bar program is truly superior and the cocktails are some of the best in DC. The name Albi signifies my heart in Arabic, the native language of the chef and owner Rafidi Michael who created a menu that fuses his Levantine roots and the traditional culinary practice of coal fire cooking with local seasonal ingredients. The result is a delicious, immersive and interactive eating experience. Although we've dined a la carte before, we tried the chef's experience and it was well worth every penny. The dishes kept on coming and each one was truly delightful. Right here is a mushroom, a sweet mushroom hummus. So just a black chickpea, a pizza with tomato, and a uh, oyster mushroom brushed with a little bit of a black garlic. Okay, Mishish, 
strawberry, a little date molasses, whipped tea, and rhubarb honey. Once in a while, we are lucky enough to eat in a place that's not only about the food but the whole experience. One of those places is Chica, the one Michelin star restaurant by chef Dan Miledo. The dining experience starts downstairs at the chef's counter, where delicious snacks with unique and rare ingredients and welcome drinks are served. You then usher to the top floor, to a room flooded with sunlight from a skylight. A glass enclosed kitchen showcases the open fire oven and the talented team. The main dining room is elegant, comfortable and understated, letting the food shine instead. How is the rice? was the question that the chef asked when he came over to our table. And this is such a fitting question coming from the most awarded paella chef in America, with more than 11 prizes. The rice and everything we had that evening was really excellent. After dinner, you will go to the lounge one level down, where drinks, pastry and treats are served. The space is so cozy, you wouldn't want to leave. I'm the Sushi Nakazawa is a one Michelin star restaurant by owner Daisuku Nakazawa who trained under the legendary hero Ono from the documentary Hero Dreams of Sushi. The restaurant is intimate with a few stools at the sushi counter and a cozy and elegant dining room in the back. Ingredients are local and sourced from abroad and each course is a journey to a different type of fish. We opted to sit at a table for the 20 course omakase which took about 2 hours. The food was top notch but you must love sushi to be satisfied as all of the courses are nigiri with the exception of 3. I could have used some other plates in between to cut the fatty fish but it was still a good experience. The all three with Japanese crash master. This is our salmon course. Our chef recommends to enjoy sushi one golden eye snapper from Chiba, south of Japan. We recommend this course to enjoy as soon as we cut the seaweed salmon. The dessert here is called mini yoka. It's a Japanese custard. We finish it off with a sugar reduction and dehydrated soybean powder as well. Do you want to eat your food and play with it too? Then head to El Cielo, the first Colombian restaurant abroad to earn a Michelin star in 2021 and retain it in 2022. Founded by chef Juan Manuel Barrientos, El Cielo offers experiences that will involve all of your senses. The cuisine mixes avant-garde and traditional techniques to create unique Colombian-inspired dishes. The venue is minimalistic yet cozy, with a small dining room with a bar on one end and a private dining room in the back by the open kitchen. The service is personalized and warm. We chose the Colombian Journey tasting menu, which consisted of 14 courses. The presentation of the dishes was so beautiful that we needed to take a moment to admire each dish before digging in. Every plate had an element of surprise in the presentation and the taste. We hope you liked our video. If our content resonates with you, please consider subscribing and turn on the notification so you can be notified when we have a new video.